Hello Knitting Friends! My name is Lynn Beate. I live in Norway. Um, I'm a mother of two. And this is my knitting and crafting podcast. I love all kinds of crafting, but especially knitting and colors. <laughs> you might see that in this episode. And uh, welcome if you are a first time viewer and welcome back if you this is your if you are a returning viewer, sorry. So, um, I'm Rusty. It's been a while. Um, I think one and a half months. So, it's time to wrap up summer and get ready for fall. Because it's the 22nd of September already. Oh, time is flying. So, yeah. Um, I think we have to get started. So today I am wearing my Nordic, I have to look at my notes, Nordic Summer Top, Nordisk Summer Top by Vitre Design, uh, Ida Virak Tretvik, a Norwegian designer. It's a basic singlet in Norwegian, camisole, uh, it's the same in the back and the front, it's knit in um, two threads of Sannes Garn Line, so it's quite chunky uh, and it's uh, fairly cropped. It's the same in the back and the front. Did I say that? Uh, yeah, it's last year's fall knitting or summer knitting actually. Um, what else? Yeah, the only thing I don't like is I wish. <laughs> it would cover the bra straps, but you know, minor detail. Uh, I knit one for myself and for my oldest daughter, so we are matchy matchy. <laughs> and I usually wear this with high waist pants of some kind or skirts. So today it's my high waist jeans, I can tuck it in. Yeah, so this is like a basic summer tee. And also, talking about summer do you see this it's like an oversized second-hand blouse that i got a couple of years back and without i, I just immediately fa uh, fell in love with it and when i was younger <laughs> i'm in my early 40s now but when i was in my 20s i was really afraid of using colors i, I wore black only black for like 10 years from when I was 16 to 26 or something um yeah and I always saw people during summer wearing like dresses with like flower patterns and I was like it's so pretty on everyone else but I can't wear that <laughs> um but when I found this I was like, okay, maybe I could pull off a, a shirt, <laughs> not a dress, but a shirt. And over the years, let me see here. Can you see the colors here? The pink and the... These are now my favorite colors for my summer wardrobe. And it's like the ex almost the exact same <laughs> color as this pink. So I'm really in my colorful era in life and the last couple of years also has brought so many colors on clothing and on yarn that I've been missing for like 20 years since the early 2000s. So they have been returning now and yeah, <laughs> I've been so excited. So I hope now that all these colors, they don't just disappear, but I will wear them anyway, because I love them. This is my colors, they make me happy and they make my face kind of light up. So yeah, I'm going to continue with that. Okay, I don't care what's in fashion or not anymore. I'm too old for that. <laughs> okay, so finished objects. I have a few and 
this is like since it's been a while since my lord last episode yeah this is episode nine people Yay! <laughs> Yeah, my finished objects, my whips and new costumes, they're like, yeah. Um, but I can show you what I started working on. Yeah, okay, I'll start with this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. <laughs> okay, so I'm, um, <laughs> I just have to take the time to do, to record this today. Uh, life has been getting in the way, <laughs> short story, um, and yeah, I have a finished object, I have two here, but I haven't been weaving in the ends, um, I just, I, I was thinking I should do it this week, and then, yeah, anyways, so here it is, <laughs> my finished object, which is like 99% finished, uh, this is uh, Florina T uh, and I made it into a sweater yeah uh, and I think it was I think I only had one cuff left <laughs> in my last episode and yeah I did not weave in the ends for over a month yeah that's how it goes I have this thing that when I finished when I finish knitting, I'm finished with it, like, and it's really stupid. It can lie like this for months, like, just so much left. Anyway, uh, Florina T is from this booklet that is released by Sonnesgarn. And this is for a yarn called uh, Thick Lina, Thick Lina, basically. This yarn here, so this comes in three different thicknesses the thin, <laughs> the DK one that's yeah, and then the thick. So the thin one has like three threads, the DK six threads, and this is twice the thickness 12 threads. Then, yeah, uh, sub so summer yarn 53% cotton. 33% viscose, 14% linen. Yeah, so this is one thread of that. This is the same thickness, same color, shocking pink. Um, but, and I think this color is discontinued now. It was this spring, I think, maybe not. Uh, maybe in this, maybe in the thick, but not the DK. Okay, um, but this is two strands of the thinner one or the DK one. Yeah, uh, <laughs> a lot of information about nothing there. So this is the booklet number 136. It has four patterns. And oh, this is the T, Florina T. Uh, knit on needle five and a half. I think I used needle size five. European, uh, 15 stitches per 10 centimeters, so you kind of get the drill. I'm knitting the smallest one, smallest size, but it's quite oversized. It's like over 103 centimeters around the bust. And I can enjoy like oversized garments, but I'm quite petite. So if they are too oversized, it's, I don't enjoy it so much. It feels like so I, I like more fitted or um, garments now that also shows my waist more because then I actually look taller. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, so this is a um, sweater. I just continue to knit the sleeves. I think I did almost everything according to pattern. Uh, yeah, I don't think I did any anything. Yeah, except for the sleeves, of course. I was thinking to do a three-quarter sleeve, but um, because this is a summer sweater, quite thick one, but still, uh, it's quite heavy. I used nine balls, I think. That's four hundred, almost half a kilo, 
450 grams. At least I think, yeah. Um, yeah, and for the sleeves, I just did a couple of increases. Decreases. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> English is not my first language. Um, I, I never learned that those words the correct desaturated means it's less colors so it's decreases then yeah less stitches okay um <laughs> yeah so this is um it's it's not very cropped but i can use it with most of my pants and skirts um it's got a little bit length more length um yeah, but it's, you can go with almost everything, but I don't like it wearing, if I wear pants and things are so cropped that when I reach up for something, you should show your boobs. <laughs> so um, I kind of want to stay a bit covered, even though I'm moving around. <laughs> so yeah, nothing more to say about that. It's quite, the fabric is thick, but airy. Um, yeah. Maybe I'll be wearing this next time. It's a maybe a, it's like a warmer summer no a summer sweater but also like a transition sweater for fall before it gets really cold and you need to start wearing your wool. Right now we have had a variety of weather. <laughs> Let's say it like that. Okay, so almost finished object. <laughs> And then over to the next almost finished object. Uh, this ended up being my holiday cast on. So it's a new cast on as well. Uh, I think I showed the yarn for like months, <laughs> many episodes, and I finally got to got to it. I it's a striped t-shirt. This is called um, Tolsta Tea by Rebecca Club. Rebea podcast. Um, it was released last summer and it's a really versatile pattern. It's uh, written for both DK weight yarn and fingering and it has uh, lots of different... Um, um, it has two patterns for kind of bust shaping, an extra part of the pattern for bust shaping. And it's an extra pattern for part of the pattern for how you can you can customize it or inspiration how to customize it. Uh, yeah. And this is DK weight yarn, but it's knit on a loser gauge, like eighteen stitches. Uh, I use Sonnescon Lina, the DK weight for that. And here it is, the Tolsta T with stripes so the yarn or the colors these are new colors from uh, Sanna Scandina this year most of them are this is bubblegum pink blossom this one is an older one a uh, straw gul like straw yellow and then we have spring green I think it's called and regatta blue did not live in the ends. I had to record today or I had to wait another week almost. Life is busy around here now. Um, yeah, so I think this is size three. It also has like a bus circumference of around 100 centimeters. That's what I like. And I made one with the jelly bean green. I wore it in the previous episode. I used like exactly four balls of Lina. So here I have, oh, I forgot. Yeah, here I have five colors. So I did um, have some leftovers. <laughs> um, hardly anything for the yellow. Most from this, maybe I can insert a picture of uh, my leftovers. It's quite interesting seeing how it turned out. Oh, I left it downstairs. 
Anyway, I didn't remember. So I'm really pleased with this. It's a really fun addition to my wardrobe. Yeah. <laughs> and this year, Rebecca, she released a Tolstoy tank. So that also has many of the sa same things, the bust, sides, uh, bust uh, adjustments, um, DK weight, fingering weight, um, and also how you can customize it to a vest even, and a blouse, and um, a camisola, or a tank, or yeah. So uh, I haven't gotten that pattern yet, but I'm going to. So maybe that will be, I'm always a year after the trends. So that's me. <laughs> so yeah, um, that was a new custom and <laughs> a finished object. And I have, oh yeah, one more thing. Where did I put it? Yeah, okay. So <laughs> this was a custom that I did when we were driving to um, our holiday. <laughs> Just, it's five hour, like drive to where we're going um i'll talk a little bit more about the holiday in the last section of this episode um so yeah this was my custom in the car <laughs> and but i didn't get to knit that much um so uh last episode as well i was talking like asking advice and talking about which projects to bring on a holiday and I thought like, this is so plain, it's stuck in it and whatever. Uh, but the thing is, it's the start of a pattern. Okay, I had to make the ribbing and I think I only got to knit like the ribbing on the card drip for like five, five hours. It did not go as planned. Anyway, I did, yeah. So I, yeah, I didn't knit that much on it, sadly. And, um, so this was knit after I came home, uh, most of it, and I just had and I had to also figure out the counting. I think it's twenty three rows for each color. So because there is short rows in the back, here you can see they are the same, but it looks a little bit less because of the smaller needle on the rib. So yeah, but it's twenty three, all over. Um, yeah, I did the ribbing on the trip. Uh, yeah, maybe, no, I did something wrong. Yeah, I did something wrong and I had to rip it out again. I was so, an I was so annoyed. Um, anyways, I think I forgot, uh, an increase on the raglan. Yeah, somewhere. So I had to fix that. Um, yeah, but it's a really plain, fun um pattern i really recommend it and uh, and and also the fabric it's it's really nice for a summer garment it's it's a bit airy uh some when this yarn when it's knit on thinner needles um it, it becomes quite dense i think or thick so it feels warmer <laughs> i have other tops knit in this yarn and they are in the, with a tighter gauge so it's it feels a little bit more and it's a little bit more open around the neck it's not like a boat neck but it's a little bit more open it covers the bra straps but uh, others tee that are like this it feels a little bit more warm so so this is um it's a it's a good garment for summer at least here in Norway. <clears throat> Sorry, here in Norway. <laughs> um, over to other, another whip. This is not a new custom. <laughs> I it's um a Florina tee that I knit as a dress. <laughs> I showed you this last time, but I only had <laughs> I knit the the ribbing, so you can see this is my. <laughs> That's my um, marker from the last episode. <laughs> but now it's uh, almost like a t-shirt. 
uh, it's a stripy dress, it's going to be that. It's um, inspired by uh, Finnish Knitting Stories. She made a, a dress from one of the liner magazines. Uh, right now I can't remember what it was called. But I think it was by a Finnish designer. And it's got these thick, bold stripes. And the original was black and white, I think. Maybe it was in a book, a liner book, too, called Stripes or something. Um, and I looked at that hashtag on Instagram. And I saw that people had made colorful ones, too, with scrap yarn. And that was really cool. But the thing is... The pattern, as far as I know, is not available for purchase, except from uh, in the magazine or that book. So, I wanted to make that, but I couldn't. <laughs> so, my... and then when I saw this, uh, the Florina tea, I can show you again. It hit me that I could make that into a dress. Because it's fairly oversized as well, so that's why I can I made the sweater according to pattern because I wanted to know I didn't want to make modifications because I wanted to knit this and I needed to know how it how it was. So now I'm down to the waist, I think. So I have four or five more colors um, in my basket here. So. Yeah, I think this is 22 stitches now. Uh, yeah, I had to stop because that's how far two balls got me. I have more, more balls of the pink and the um, purple one. So, oh yeah, <laughs> the armaments in here. Uh, maybe I should cut those off, but I wasn't 100% sure about the colors, so I didn't cut anything <laughs> uh, so yeah I'm about to change colors now um, also one of the ideas that I got to make this was that my local yarn store Lille Neste Garn og Gourmet they have been doing like a turnover in their store and they've been selling out some yarn qualities and um, some were outgoing colors as well so they've been having a, a lot of sales the last six months and I bought a lot of yarn. And they also, they're keeping the thin and the DK, but the thick one, they, they didn't want to have that in stock anymore. So I got this, this dress is a bargain. So I got two balls of each color, of a lot of colors. Um... I have this. Uh, I think these two are outgoing um, this year. Those two, maybe the pink one too, and then this is the pink lilac. I think it's not blossom. The other color, uh, very similar, but this is more. Uh, yeah, purple lilac. And I also have the lilac <laughs> and the turquoise. Maybe this is outgoing too, but the pink one is new. And I got a blue. So I have. Oh, but yeah, summer is over officially, and I still have this summer garment. Yeah, and I also have more of the purple, so I hope this will get me at least to a knee length dress. Maybe I'll do a split at the knee. Uh, and I will do some increases, I'm getting there now, increases a little bit around the hips because my hips are a little bit wider. But this is quite oversized, so yeah, just a little bit. And I still have some, after 22 rows, I still have some yarn 
left from two balls. So I can, I, I do have, I have calculated, so I do have enough. Even when I, I do a little bit of increasing. Okay, should we move on? <laughs> okay, putting that back. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> oh, all the yarn is falling out. Uh, next. Yeah, this is also a new cast on and a whip. And this is also my holiday project. Um, it's an anchor sweater for my oldest girl. It was supposed to be finished a while ago, but it's not. Here it is. I really like the yoke. <laughs> And this yarn is from Dalegarn. It's a hundred percent not super washed merino, and it's called Merino Twenty Two. And this is the colorway Lollipop. And on my holiday, I need until there. Uh, I got a even though this I've described this yarn as a dopamine yarn because of the speckles before but i have to admit that once i split it's a little bit boring <laughs> it's still a little bit monotonous is that a better word yeah and uh, i think i'm ending up on size seven to eight years but i was thinking six to seven eight no six to seven years <laughs> sorry um, but it's actually the same, the yoke and everything, raglan is basically the same for those two sizes. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it is what it is. Um, she will grow into it if it's too big. So this was something that she wished for when she saw the yarn. So... Yeah, she has a lot of sweaters right now, um, so it's, I'm, I'm not in a hurry really. Yeah, I have to get a new ball. <laughs> so yeah, now we're, okay, I have to look at the time. <laughs> I think I need to talk about this in my next episode, um, not to make this too long <laughs> but i do have a dream knit still i also talked about it briefly last time no maybe not last time the time before so it's been in the works for a while oh sorry if there's some noise now i'll just maybe i'll edit it out yay so this is going to be a cardigan called Leith Cardigan, also by Crea Bea, Rebecca Club. Um, this yarn is called Lerke. It's 50%, 53% merino wool, 47% Egyptian cotton, it says. It's a DK weight. Yeah, so these are fairly new colorways. Um, and these two here, I got second hand, and also this second hand. Um, so I think uh, I'll put up a picture. So the base color is the white one, and then this will be um, on the body, and this will be the arms. I haven't really decided on maybe like this Ooh. so the pink and the purple doesn't get it could be yeah i think it's going to be like the sleeves here yeah so i i thought about this as a summer cardigan and it still might be but i have um changed the colors a little bit i had a turquoise and a 
yellow. But these colors here, they are also more uh, fall, my fall colors actually. I, I mentioned that the colors, it's also the colors from my my blouse here. It's better, they are a little bit more saturated or rich in color. Like you can see the pink, it looks a little bit off. It's more, it's lighter than it's on the screen though. Uh, because light is fading away for me. It's uh, late, it's evening actually. Yeah, it's seven. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit lighter than it's on the screen. And so this could actually be more of like a fall garment as well for me. Um, but since it's a bit cotton, it's not the warmest of, so yeah, warmest of garments. So it would be like a transition garment as well. Like now we have had like 20 degrees. Um, <laughs> I can't bring out the moo hair sweaters when it's 20 degrees. <laughs> so yeah, it's like in between now it's, it's warm and it's cold and it's, you have three day, uh, season in one day and it's not really fall fall yet so this i want to cast on pretty soon oh. <laughs> so yeah these are also my bright bright colors so yeah finishing up summer getting ready for fall i have I want to finish that dress and I haven't been quite ready for fall because it's the weather has been not been very cold and I didn't want to let go of summer we had our summer official summer holiday was quite late and I always need some time to get adjusted to the seasonal changes. Some people love it when, yeah, but I need, I need some time to get used to everything. Um, but now I'm, I'm starting to get ready for fall. And you know, that Halloween is coming, that my birthday is coming up in October. And that Christmas is coming. Yeah, it's a little bit easy, early to talk about Christmas, but I've um, been ordering something that I want to put in my, it's not an advent calendar that I bought from someone, uh, but I'm going to make it into an advent calendar for myself. It's a project that I have wanted to make for many, many years, but I never got around to it. And I'll talk more about that later on. Just arrived in the mail, have not opened the, the package. <laughs> I want it to be a surprise. So uh, I want maybe my partner or a friend to wrap it up for me. <laughs> so I don't get, uh, it's going to be a surprise. And yeah, so I've been thinking about, do I want to do a Christmas vlog this year as well? Thinking about gifts, not, thinking to knit anything special or a lot for Christmas, a gift at least. I have done so before and it's stressful. I think December and Christmas is stressful as it is, not putting the extra weight of making a lot of presents as well. I know people love making Christmas presents and they start in January. <laughs> I'm not one of those people. Uh, yeah, October is coming, my birthday, always a little bit. I'm, I'm an autumn or fall child, but I'm, <laughs> it's, it's a bit cozy now. It's getting a bit darker and I can light some candles, but it's in the evenings, but yeah. So, but I have ordered a gift for myself. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> And anyway, yeah, so that's, I'm getting there. And yeah, knit and chat. Nothing to knit on today. Why? Why do I?
do I do this every thing every every time? Okay, I, I could have knitted on my Anker sweater, but I don't have yarn. <laughs> okay, I'll just sit here and relax them. Um yeah, holiday. Uh we went on a week holiday. Or five days actually. Uh we have a small kid and we traveled last fall for many weeks with a small yeah to Spain um and so we didn't feel like like going abroad this summer and I enjoy summers in Norway. Um I would rather go abroad in winter time to a warmer climate to be honest. And uh, we were planning on doing a lot of stuff at the house or around the house. Didn't happen. <laughs> Our youngest is not sleeping. And we are not sleeping, the adults. So that's how life is, having a one and a half year old. Um, so we've just been relaxing and trying to get through the days, I think. But we did go uh, to a city called Lillehammer. Maybe even people abroad or not living in Norway has heard about Lillehammer, the Olympic Games city from 1994. Uh, Winter Olympics, of course. It's a really nice city. It has like a street um, without cars. Well, it's that pedestrian kind of street with lots of shops and cafes and small wooden houses. Um, and they have like the ski jump. We visited that two years ago. We went there too. But the thing is, in that area, there are some amusement parks. So two years ago, we visited one of them called Lilliputtamer. <laughs> it's 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 an amusement park for the smallest kids, uh, for families, but mainly small, really small kids. And there's like a teeny tiny <laughs> kind of village city, and yeah, and carousels that are small. Uh, and this year we went to another family park called Hundertfossen. It's uh, more for the whole family for bigger kids as well so it's a little bit for everyone but mainly for kids uh i did go on a tiny teeny tiny roller coaster with my six-year-old she loved it <laughs> i i love roller coasters but after i became a mom and extreme sports i did everything before but now i'm uh, yeah <laughs> I grew up or something. I'm. I won't say that I'm afraid of everything, but I'm. I, I think about consequences more than I used to. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> so we went to this amusement park and um, we rented like a. Uh, it's not a hotel, but it's like a room. It feels like a hotel, but teeny tiny one. And my parents and our oldest they stayed in there. Uh, not a camper van, booby, uh, caravan van, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, we stayed in that area, and yeah, I have to put in some calmer days as well, like traveling and then having a day where I can relax a bit, and then we have the amusement park, and then we have a more relaxing kind of day, and then we <laughs> went home. <laughs> So that's how life is at this point. And yeah, so I had my two costumes, did not knit as much as I was planning to. Uh, yeah, the amusement park was a lot of fun. I might add some pictures. There are, I, there's, I think it opened when I was four years old. So in 86 something yeah and i was there when i was a kid and i remember that as a gigantic troll <laughs> and we had dinner inside the troll uh yeah anyway so uh that was kind of fun i haven't been there since i was a kid uh, my parents also were joining so um they were there with me when i was a kid and a lot has changed but still it was it was a lot of fun <laughs> 
so yeah and we got back i had the kids alone for a week my partner went back to work and then school started and then we got covid and then yeah there's been like parent meetings and meetings and appointments here and there and yeah suddenly one and a half months had passed yeah <laughs> but that's fine that's fine i hope it won't be as long until my next recording uh maybe more fall themed um yeah but this was really nice i miss talking to you guys um i enjoy having this little corner on the web where i can talk about my favorite hobby in the world and receiving no judgment about the amount of yarn that i'm buying or <laughs> how much time i spend knitting uh, although it's not so much really it's mainly in the evenings so yeah um it was really nice being here talk to you soon and I really hope you had uh, a nice summer as well. Okay. Bye-bye.